Hello, my name's Cliff Kirk. I'm an ex-BBC television producer, director. Uh, I've also worked with Discovery Channel on custom car shows and uh, with MTV on things like Pimp My Ride. I'm here in Dubai for a one-day video workshop that we'll be doing here in Hot Cold Studios in Al Koz in Dubai. What about the biggest project of them all? A network to link all the nations of the Gulf. What was first proposed two years ago. Is it still on track or will it run into the desert sands? Clifford Kirk reports. If you're an ardent train spotter, then the Middle East, with its cheap fuel and its love affair of large cars, would make for slim pickings. And like many places which came under British influence at the turn of the century, the Empire didn't see much point in building railways across the sand. Of course, these days, there's almost as much concrete as there is sand in the Middle East. And with a growing population, surely the time is right to have a modern railway network high on the shopping list for these oil-rich countries. Dubai is ahead of the game at the moment with its ambitious metro project. But this is a project that this growing city has been forced to undertake given its growing traffic problems, which it's feared may slow down not just the commuters, but also the Dubai economy. However, just how many people here in the Middle East are prepared to get out of their cars and onto the railway, though, has yet to be seen. Clifford Kirk reporting.